Sorry, I'm just checking. Since, uh... I'm standing right now. You're always so busy. Mm -hmm. It's high time you gave yourself a proper break. Even the sharpest blade loses its edge if it's always in use. Okay. Regular maintenance is essential for reliable performance. Are you calling me a ho? And anyway, life is short, so we should make the most I'm of the time I'm not you, we I have. mean Kaya. Right now is the perfect time to relax and enjoy ourselves. And who knows how many other chances we'll get. So come on, what do you say? Um... We can't spend public money for our own amusement. <laughs> now I remember why you're an honorary knight. <laughs> of course being tempted by money is beneath you. Yes. Your honest character is dazzling to behold. Like the sunlight reflecting off the surface of Cider Lake in the late fall. I hold my hands up. My thinking was mistaken. In that case, I guess today's end of trip blowout is cancelled. I shall pack my luggage and prepare to return to Mondstadt. I can join you for the journey. It'd be nice to catch up with everyone in Mondstadt anyway. Oh? You'd do that for me? Well, this wasn't what I'd originally planned, but it's a very welcome development. When I was souvenir shopping, I picked out something for you too. Guess my thoughtfulness wasn't in vain. You got me a souvenir? Ooh, what did you get me? Let's keep that a secret for now. Huh? Not because I want to keep you guessing. It's just that I didn't think I'd run into you here. All my gifts are back at the inn. I want you to find out for yourself when you open it. The surprise is what gift giving is all about, is it not? Fine. Then it's settled. We'll leave together shortly. Okay. Reunion, return to Mondstadt. Oh my god, I came all the way here just to go back to Mondstadt again. Hey, let's go back to Mondstadt. This is so funny, Key. Okay, Kaya really did end up being the knight that uh, travels a lot. And for my OC's backstory, Kaya's the one who greets her via from coming back from Sumeru. Yeah! Did Kaya appear in the UA? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. And he was also in Inazuma. Wait, no, JK, what up, buddy? Never mind. I don't know, but he's the most well traveled knight, I think. Look. Yeah, he's been Mondstadt's to windmills. Ah. Ah, such a comforting sight. In blocks, Roblox blocks. Now, as promised, your souvenir. Here you go. According to the merchant I bought it from, mysterious spirits mm. called Jin often live in lamps like this. And this lamp in particular once housed a very powerful genie. Lilopar? Merchants love to exaggerate to help make a sale. But it's still quite the pretty little lamp. I know you like rare things, so perhaps you can add this to your collection. Of course, you can also use it as an ordinary pot. Personally, I think it'd make an excellent wine vessel. Thank you, I'll use it as a decanter. You're welcome. I'm glad you like it. I'm ready to head into the city now. You're free to join me, or you can make your own schedule. I could give everyone their souvenirs first, but I'm not sure whether I'm in the mood for running around and visiting people right after the long journey. Maybe I'll take a breather first. But I know I'll only get bored sitting in my room alone. Ugh. Do you have any suggestions? We could have dinner together. Ah! We can chill out together so you can relax without getting bored. Mm. It's the tame version of you want to have dinner together. I can join you for the souvenir giving so you can have some company. Let's chill out together, Kaya. I'm honored to have such a caring friend. Don't call me your friend, hmm. Kaya. We're on a date. Let's go to the plaza in front of the cathedral. We can listen to the bards playing or feed the pigeons. After so long in Sumeru, I've begun to miss that slow-paced and relaxed atmosphere. There's no rush. We can take our time and stroll on over. Beautifully wrapped gift box. A gift...
Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Where is it? A gift and a beautiful gift box. According to Kaya, it contains an exquisite lamp. It might be best to wait till you come back from vacation with Kaya to open up his gift and admire it. Alright. I have to go to the gift cathedral. Key, where does the event with Venti and Hutao start? Okay, good. I thought I would accidentally trigger it by coming to Mondstadt. Okay. Port Ormos is always lively, even late into the night. People there go to bed much later than I imagined. Quite a stark contrast with Mondstadt. People pray and play music in the Cathedral Plaza during the day, but come nighttime, the streets are deserted except for the knights on patrol. Sounds like Dumaguete. <laughs> Which lifestyle do you prefer? Good question. Life in Sumeru is never dull. Last time I was out drinking on the street at night, some passing mercenaries invited me to dance. Although, I did learn later that that kind of thing is highly unusual even there. <laughs> They must have been in a very good mood that night. They taught me a lot of songs that they usually sing during feasts. It really was a fun night. But be that as it may, I think I'm more suited to the free and easy life in Mondstadt. Oh, really? Simple, honest folks like me. We don't need much to be content. Can you hear what you're saying? Are you serious? Fair enough. Let's shelve that discussion for now. Have you ever had a chance to hear the cathedral choir before? The hymns they sing are a whole tradition in their own right. Quite different from the folk songs that the bards play. Not yet. It sounds very interesting. Well, let's see if we can catch them today. Sister Grace is right there, so we can ask her about the choir's schedule. Hi, Sister Grace. Ooh. Excuse me, Sister Grace. Does the church choir have any performances coming up soon? Oh, I'm so sorry. The hymn concert we previously announced has unfortunately been pushed back. Why? Oh? What's the story there? As you probably know, Captain Kaya, we've been trying to organize an amateur choir in addition to the regular church choir. Ah, uh, yes. I heard about that. I believe the plan was ultimately to have different choirs who can take turns to perform hymn concerts. Yes, exactly. Well, it turns out there are plenty of believers who are good singers and interested in joining a choir. So, in theory, it should have been a simple case of getting everyone in the same room, then practice, practice, practice. But, for some reason, the rehearsals are going terribly. I don't understand it. Everyone in the choir has a basic level of musical literacy, but they sound awful together. It's like everyone's trying to do their own thing. There's no group harmony. Mm. Oh, maybe I'm just not musically gifted enough to give them the guidance they need. Captain Kaya, I know you like listening to hymns. How good is your understanding of vocal music? Damn, why are you Me? putting it on him? <laughs> music is far from my forte. But if you need some help, then don't worry. I know an expert who's more than up to the task. Hmm, now who could that be? It's either Barbara or Venti. Thank you so much, Captain Kaya. Having some expert guidance will definitely be a great help. I'm sure you've figured out who this expert is already. He has the best singing voice of any poet in Mondstadt, and understands poetry better than any other singer. Plus, he's exceptionally easy to find. Nine out of ten times, he's in the tavern. I'm pretty sure Kaya knows that uh, Venti is the animal. There he used is. To this. Hi, baby girl. Hey, you fucking twink. Good day. Drinking alone? I hope you don't mind us joining you. Hello, Venti. Hello, hello. Please, take a seat. <laughs> We're all friends here. Are we? <laughs> Patton, one moonlit alley and an apple cider. Ooh, 
excellent choices. Come on, let's have a toast and drain our glasses together. Hey. Here's to the time spent drinking with friends. Which is more unforgettable than the drinks are delectable? Damn. Ever the poet, Professor Venti. Mm. A beautiful toast from the bard with the most. Oh, sheesh. Professor Venti, huh? Still remember that poem you made, Kaya? Any new songs of yours we could listen to? There's a real dearth of quality entertainment at the moment, since the Cathedral's choir performance has been delayed again. Speaking of which, I trust you've heard Sister Grace's choir perform before? Of course! Though the format is a little on the formal side, they do sing quite beautifully. <laughs> Very pleasant to listen to. If so, so you'd say you enjoy listening to him. This is wait, what okay, okay, chill, chill. This is so funny because Venti, you're literally the god that they're singing hymns to, and you're like, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's decent. Hmm, let me think. Well, however it's expressed, as long as you can hear the singer's passion and joy in their voice, I consider it a phenomenal performance. Passion and joy, huh? An intriguing perspective. By this logic, I suppose Lord Barbados would also enjoy the choir's performances. Yeah, I bet Lord Barbados would really love those performances. How would you think, Venti? Huh? Oh? And why is that? Well, they are for him. Think about it. It's only because of his patient guidance and protection that the people of Mondstadt can now sing such beautiful hymns in the cathedral. Ah, uh, yeah, you're a little on the nose here. Not gonna lie. It must be quite satisfying for him to hear a joyful people lift up their voices in song. Uh, <laughs> mm, I wouldn't know. I'm not. I don't. I don't know what the Lord Barbados is thinking. Yes. Well, that's a beautiful image filled with hope. But actually, maybe Barbados himself doesn't give it so much thought. In principle, the hymns of the cathedral are dedicated to a god. But in reality, the audience are all ordinary people with very worldly concerns. So what really matters is that the people enjoy what they're listening to. Mm. Hmm. Okay, Kaya. <laughs> if Sister Grace was able to see things that way, perhaps she wouldn't feel so distressed. Uh huh? Huh? Distressed? About what? You explain Sister Grace's predicament to Venti. Ugh, she might be asking a bit too much. To be honest, if they have a natural talent for music, they should just be allowed to sing whatever they want. It'll all sound good. Even if they aren't singing the same tune? Even if their voices aren't in harmony? Uh, I'm pretty sure the first people to sing songs to the Animo Archon weren't all singing the same tune. Besides, he is the god of freedom. Surely he'd prefer to hear Mondstadters sing their hearts out however comes naturally to them. Well, to each their own, I say. But Sister Grace seems quite bothered by the whole thing. If only a kind soul with a deep understanding of poetry and music could help her. Patton! More drinks? Uh-oh. <laughs> I only brought enough money for one bottle today. I'll have to pass. Don't worry, Kyle will cover it. Another bottle of apple cider for Venti, please, Patton. My treat. Wow! <laughs> Thanks, Kaya. Ah, oh, you were one of the finest oh. students ever to emerge from my yeah. fast track love poetry class. Mm. I always did admire your enthusiasm and kindness. With the aid of this bottle, a humble bard's woes are whisked away on the wind. And so it falls to this humble bard to pass the blessing on to another. Okay. <laughs> then this is probably the single most worthwhile alcohol purchase I've ever made. With your help, Sister Grace's problems are as good as solved. Sister Grace is a devout follower of the Animo Archon. Perhaps it's her depth of devotion that causes her to worry too much about the smallest things. Don't worry. Just wait a moment. I'll go find her. Right after I finish this cider. <laughs> mm. The next time you visit her, our sweet sister shall be sad no more. You say your farewells after enjoying some fine wine. Kaya leaves first. Betty. 
Why was I left with Bendy? Kaya is a wily character, but free wine is always the most delicious. You can always refuse. Eh, it's fine. I mean, the church's choral hymns aren't exactly my strong suit, <laughs> what with all the finicky formalities and so on. But as long as there is love for music in the air, I'm sure I'll be able to help. It sounds like it'll actually take a lot of work. You're not just doing it for the wine? Hey, if I'm happy, and Sister Grace is happy, and the audience is happy, <laughs> that's a great thing, isn't it? I love you, Benthi, and I miss you. I'll do the event soon. to the Cathedral Plaza. Mm -hmm. Right. What is that? No time to lose. Hello, Sister Grace. How are the rehearsals going? Mm -hmm. Captain Kaya, your bard friend has a few suggestions that are somewhat fanciful in nature. Of course, Sister Grace. Uh, fanciful in the sense of not worth adopting? Is that what you mean? What are your thoughts, Vendi? <laughs> Everyone in the choir loves to sing, but they're used to singing their favorite songs. Suddenly asking them to sing in perfect harmony like a church choir with years of experience is just too difficult. So, why ask them to adjust to the demands of those staid old church hymns when you could just create a new song for them? One that they'll be able to grasp quickly? <laughs> if you want, I could help. That's church true. choirs typically stick to traditional hymns. This is certainly an innovative idea. It's true, it's true. I mean, he's got a point. If they're newbies, you can't expect them to all, like, sing perfectly in tune together. Professionally. What's stopping you from considering it, Sister Grace? Yeah, what's up with that? While I don't expect a recently established amateur choir to perform on par with our own church choir, this would be a major departure from tradition. I'm just not convinced that it's appropriate. <laughs> is the Church of Favonius really such a stickler for tradition? Yeah. Giving believers the chance to express themselves freely seems like it would be a very positive thing. I mean, this is the god of freedom we're talking about. So, Venti, do you think the Animo Archon would like to hear a new melody? Hell yeah. Of course! This was the wish of the people when New Mondstadt was first founded. Okay, well let's see what our other friend thinks. Traveler, what are your thoughts? I, for one, am inclined to agree with Venti's understanding of Barbados. Another vote of confidence. Maybe there's hope for this idea yet. Ah. <laughs> uh, maybe it's just a generational thing, but... Oh, well, it's not a completely unreasonable idea. I suppose it can't hurt to try. Yeah, you're at your wit's Looks end, like Sister favorite, Grace. Then. So let's start preparing. Sister Grace, could we trouble you to inform the choir members? Of course. I'll tell them now, and then we'll give this a try. Should we find some people to help us compose the lyrics? If this is to be a new song of the people, then the more fresh ideas we have, the better. Good idea. Let's split up and find some contributors, Traveler. Who should I go look for? Hmm, let me think. Since we're composing a song, we Barbara. should try and include at least one person who understands music. Aha, I know. Sister Grace, how would you feel about us asking Sister Barbara to provide her input? She's an idol Given after that all. The idea is to write a song dedicated to Lord Barbados. I'm sure Sister Barbara would be very willing. Yeah. Perfect. Traveler, why don't you head into the cathedral and invite Sister Barbara to join us? I'll look for another friend who's interested in helping us. 
Gene might be interested. Hey, Venti, what's up? Are you not gonna talk to me? Got it. Ah, with this melody, it'll be much more expressive. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine you guys are trying to make a new hymn for Jesus, and Jesus is the one making the song. Hey, Barbara. Let the wind lead. Hey. Traveler, it's been a long time since I last saw you in the cathedral. Yes, Barbara, just the person I was looking for. I have a rather unusual request for you. Fortunately, I have some time to spare at the moment. What is it? You tell Barbara about the plan to write a brand new song. Oh, I see. What an interesting idea. The hymns we know today have been passed down to us through the ages. Very few people would ever think to create a new one. That's why we need a new as long one. As we put our hearts into it and write with reverence and devotion, perhaps our new song can become part of the tradition that is passed on and bring joy to future generations. Yep. I never imagined that the bard would come up with such an amazing suggestion. I'd really love to be a part of this. We're having discussion in the plaza now. Would you like to join? Do you have time to join a lyric writing session? Sure. Let's go there together right now. I miss seeing Barbara around. No time to lose. Come on, let's go. Is this six fingered Jose? Lol, what are you doing here, dude? Oh, Diona! Huh. Didn't expect her. Ah, you're here. Can Diona sing well? You took your sweet time. Hi, Diona. It's been a while. I hate you. <laughs> now you're fine. So Kaya's helper is Diona, huh? Psh, I've seen Kaya play Genius Invocation TCG, making up a bunch of baloney to distract his opponents. <laughs> He's a trickster, plain and simple. So now. I gotta check with you guys to see if what he's saying is true. Can we really write about anything we want in this song? Um, Even the evils of Mondstadt's wine industry? Uh, no. And is the choir really gonna perform it publicly? <laughs> so everyone on the streets will hear it? Do you really think she can write about that? Let's hope Diluc won't mind. I can guarantee he won't. Uh... <laughs> then I wanna write this! All these hands will be punished harshly by Lord Barbados. Why did you bring Dian <laughs> Diana? Ah, Diano. Uh, oh, that's a very novel idea indeed. Ah, yeah, this was a terrible idea. Why did you bring her? It literally could have been anybody else. Bring Eula for all I care. I mean, I love Eula, but I mean, like. Bring Razor! I'm used to just humming to myself while I work. So after Sister Grace criticized us for not singing in harmony, Damn. I was planning on quitting the choir. Damn. I never thought we'd be able to just sing what we wanted. Whew, what a relief. Plus, we get to write a song with Sister Barbara. I'm so honored! Thank you, everyone. Why don't we start by picking a theme for this song? True. I agree. Traditionally speaking, the theme should be, praise be to the gentle and loving Lord Barbados. Nah. I expect that Professor Venti might feel that topic is overdone and lacks originality, and that it may not be to Lord Barbados's liking. Yeah. That's Kaya for you. Got it in one. I'd suggest that everyone start by thinking of the little things in life that bring you joy. Ooh, well then, can I please a perfect fish head soup my mom cooked last night? You have a mom? Of course you can. I think I'd like to rejoice in the precious days spent together with family. Let us praise Mondstadt, the city that allows us to sing freely. Oh. See? Already we have lots of wonderful ideas. <laughs> Let's write them down, and then Kaya can... Uh, huh? Kaya? Is he gone? Find Kaya. Hmm. What should I sing about? Home of the Windborn. What do you think of that? 
Uh, surely the song should at least mention Lord Barbados. Yeah, at some point it will, just not all the time. Okay, everyone, write your ideas down once you've got something. And then we'll open it up for a group discussion. Oh yeah, we're writing I about. I think the song should express the babies. joy of being together with family. <gasps> should I write about fish head soup or leeway grilled fish? We got Diana. Stop. Um. Yeah, Kaya, are you an atheist? <laughs> what are you doing here? Didn't want to participate in the discussions. You're not participating either. Do you want to leave? I just wanted to take you to hear a performance. But that obviously didn't happen, thanks to the problems with the choir rehearsals. The rehearsals are now back on track, so I've done my part. If I stay here any longer, I'll probably get roped into singing with them. I'm, I'm seeing I'd a pattern here, didn't Kaya. Come to that. My songwriting abilities are limited. Here you are helping other people out, and you're supposed to be kicking back and relaxing, or perhaps this is your way of relaxing? If doing nothing but loitering on the plaza, enjoying the scenery all day, is the only way to relax, then I suppose I didn't get to relax. But that would get boring after a while. To me, it's more fun to wander huh. around, see what's happening, and insert myself into interesting situations. Yep. Besides... Can you be so sure I didn't have something to gain from helping Sister Grace with her choir rehearsal dilemma these past few days? What would you have to gain? Oh, -ho! I spy two naughty students skipping class. And they just so happen to be the very two who asked me to help Sister Grace in the first place. Damn. We're ready to review and discuss everyone's lyric contributions now. Hey, why is it that you look like you're trying to run away? I still recall the teachings of Professor Venti. The Animo Archon cares not about how moving the people's songs of praise are, but rather whether or not the song comes from the heart. Uh. With so many true believers gathered together earnestly writing a song for him, I'm sure the Animo Archon is watching on and feels very satisfied. Mm. That's what a song of worship is all about. So, mission accomplished. And that's the reason you've decided to leave? Slipping away before the final verse is sung, before the poet has uttered the last line, before everything has concluded. I don't know. Something about it just resonates with me. Shut up. You just think writing poetry is too much trouble, and you're just embarrassed to sing. Oh, no. <laughs> you've seen right through me. Mm. Wow, that was a craftily crafted speech. I almost fell for it. But to share all this with a group of friends, only to find myself one friend short before the final verse is sung, before the poet has uttered the last line, before everything has concluded... <laughs> I don't know. Something about it just irritates me. Whoa. If you don't want to write a poem, then let me gift you one. <clears throat> Abandoned to whatever fortune the cruel waters bring, bereft of control, directionless I swing. The swift current surge, and onward I urge, through the snow and frost that fall and winter bring. Majestic waves cresting, surf roaring its tail, none but the ocean to hear as I sing. The stars in my eyes as I chart toward the horizon, that into one day from the endless dome of night I shall spring. Whoa. If you are a chaser of freedom, the animal Archon will bless you. So why not let those feelings out and sing with everyone? Because I don't believe in the animal arcana. A boat that has come unmoored will not get lost in the night, but sail towards the dawn. A beautiful image. Of course, you don't have to believe in it, but the winds of Mondstadt will guide every lost ship back to safe harbor. Well, after a fine poem like that, it would be plain <laughs> rude of me not to rejoin you. Okay. <laughs> Let's head back together. You two of all people have to be there for the grand finale. Ooh. Yes. If you're a chaser of freedom, why not sing with everyone? Aye. Okay. Um. Okay. Just two more to go. 